Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Kobo Libra Color e-reader and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now you're going to want to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues with this uh, reader not responding or if it seems to be lagging or frozen and stuff like that, we can very often fix that with a hard reset to the factory default settings. Um, then you're going to need to set everything up again because like I said it will be restored to its factory out of the box default settings. That's the second reason you might want to do this. Especially if you're selling this or getting a used one or whatever reason you just want to get a fresh start. We can go ahead and do this. It's pretty easy. All we need to do is on the back there's the power button. You're going to press and hold that until you see it say power off on the screen. Once it says power off on the screen and the power light turns off you can uh, you know then go to the next step which is you're going to press and hold one of the page turn buttons on the side here. And while you're pressing and holding one of those buttons, um, you're going to press and hold the power button so that you're pressing the power button on the back and a page turning button simultaneously. And you're just gonna keep holding that until the, and the power light will grow solid for three seconds. It will come on uh, solid for three seconds. Now, when the power light, then it'll start to blink. And when the power light stops blinking and turns off, um, then you can go ahead and release the, those two buttons. So the e-reader will then turn black and then it will start its restoring process. And then um, after the restoring process finishes, you'll have to follow the on-screen instructions to set up your, um, you know, to set everything up again. You'll need to set it back up to the internet and everything like that because it will all be wiped clean.